Just yesterday, I was in a startup event where an Indian biotech startup, Anna Biotechnologies, acquired a Switzerland-based startup, Microbial Investigations. Now, can you believe this? Indian biotech startup is acquiring a Switzerland-based startup. How did this happen? Well, the world of biotechnology amazes me as it is growing. Well, still some people ask, is there any future in biotech? Today, I am here to ask, is biotech the future of the world? So I'm going to give you probably seven or eight hints and then you decide, does biotech have a future? If you have less time, let me tell you this. The governments of the world have no other option but to embrace and fund biotech initiatives. Why? Because of the reasons I'm about to give in this video. Now to start with, why exactly Anna Biotechnologies went ahead and acquired a foreign company is because they are growing. If they are growing, then hiring, right? So employability is improving. And that is where biotech industry, which was $22 billion of like 10 years ago, is now $167 billion. It's growing. Today, Indian companies are acquiring foreign companies. But how exactly this is happening is because of the need, the demand. Because biotech is a powerhouse, a multifaceted powerhouse. Call it as like a bouquet, which has got different flowers. Now let's start with the first thing. What exactly is happening in healthcare? Can really the healthcare exist in the future without biotechnology? Whether it is 3D bioprinting, or whether it is oncology research, everywhere biotechnology is being utilized. Biotech has already made its mark in revolutionizing healthcare. It has significantly helped innovations like precision medicine, which tailor makes treatment according to genetic makeup of the individual. Now it is also changing the way disease is treated and also it is reducing the side effects and increasing the patient outcomes. Now, gene therapy is another uh, area which is revolutionizing. You have technologies such as CRISPR, which is offering hope to cure genetic, genetic disorders such as sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, which is directly connected to faulty genes. Coming to food security, can any society in the world exist without food? The answer is absolutely no. But we know that the land is the same. The amount of land on the earth is constant, but the demand of, of food is increasing. So how do you grow more food in less land? Because the population is growing and everybody is buying land and building buildings out of it, right? So that is where biotechnology's impact is beyond healthcare. Now it comes to global food security, an issue that will impact all of us by 2050. Now by 2050, the world population is expected to be 10 billion and biotechnology offers that. We have the solution to meet this demand sustainably. So government has no option but to fund us now. Otherwise in 2050, there will be riots, food riots, right? Genetically modified crops, drought resistant crops, pest resistant crops, high yielding crops, less water consuming but high yielding crops, all of that can be achieved in agri-tech using biotechnology. So of course, ensuring food security is one such thing. Then we have biofortified crops. Golden rice, which has been developed to address the malnutrition, offering increased nutritional value in regions where food scarcity is common. Now, the rise of lab-grown meat, which is produced uh, without growing the livestock, so it provides a sustainable alternative to traditional meat production. Now, we also have biological innovations, which is key to feeding the entire global population. That is where the future is biotechnology. So people who are questioning biotechnology's future, I'm here to say that your future is biotechnology. Whether you have studied biotechnology or not, irrespective of that. Followed by that, combating climate change, right? We saw rains in Dubai and we saw drought in Delhi, right? We are seeing tremendous change in the way climate was, is and will be. So as climate change accelerates, biotechnology will offer critical solutions for mitigating the effects. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing, so we, we can have carbon traps, genetically engineered plants, and algae that can capture carbon dioxide more effectively, helping to curb the greenhouse emissions driving the global warming. Now we also have biofuels, which is made from algae and agricultural waste products, which will provide renewable sources of energy, which will be less harmful to the environment. At the same time, it will help us reduce our dependence from fossil fuels. Bioplastics, which solves the problem of never degrading plastics, right? So petroleum-based plastics, and decom which decomposes more easily, uh, is a long-term solution to the pollution in water. Bioremediation is another engineering of microbes to clean the polluted environment. And that is another area of biotechnology which is having a positive impact already on the society. Tell me, is this not the future of the world? Biotechnology is the future of the world. Next is economic impact of biotechnology. What exactly will happen? So you saw it in COVID. 
there was a huge impact of covid pandemic on the economy of the world and every economy was in recession and biotechnology rescued it and now that covid has gone every government has realized the power of biotechnology right from supplying masks to doing the pcrs everywhere we had biotech professionals manning the covid pandemic and ensuring that it goes away forever and it did thanks to the vaccines the virologists who uh, and vaccine design experts who came together the bioinformaticians who came together and did that so biotechnology has a direct impact on the economy of every world and that is where every country has funding agency such as birac to fund your initiative so don't worry if you're studying biotechnology or you are a professional in biotechnology biotechnology is here to stay biotechnology is here to grow and all those who are struggling are not trying enough that's my message now coming to the technological synergies now today we are combining biotechnology with ai right so we can accelerate the analysis of large data sets to identify promising therapeutic compounds ai can help us optimize clinical trials predict better patient outcomes reduce the time and cost associated with bringing new treatments to the market now that is where biotechnology is magic if it is magical then there is regulatory problems because it can go wrong also biotechnology is a two edged sword so that is why regulatory compliance is another department of biotechnology where you can make expertise and that is where biotechnica has regulatory affairs courses and internship which you can do and then get a job in regulatory affairs as well so whether it is gmo or crispr there will be ethical issues and as a regulatory expert you can be working on that and of course education collaboration innovation will follow but my message to all of you is challenges will always remain in the biotech industry but this industry is here to stay grow sustainably and helping all of you get employed so instead of questioning the integrity of biotech industry think of a role which you can play here in any of the points which i told you and then you see the whole world will embrace you for your technological innovations instead of thinking that you are not getting job think how can you change the world because this industry is not to give you a job but rather it is here to make you think how can you make the world a better place to live or collaborate with someone who is already making it better for example the startups and if you are looking for a job you are at the best place biotechnica you should subscribe to our newsletter where we post jobs regularly from academia industry as well as government for freshers experienced candidates and of course scientists so what are you waiting for subscribe to our newsletter which is located at btnk.org/subscribe the link is given in the description go ahead click it out subscribe to us and then you'll see the future is bright for you and for your family keep earning keep learning and keep following biotechnica thank you take care bye bye